Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you all, my wonderful listeners and viewers from wherever you are watching and listening from. Thank you so much for your support and God bless you. Some Nigerians have reacted to the departure of President Muhammad Buhari to the United Kingdom on Monday for a global summit and medical checkup. Daily Post earlier reported that a special advisor on media and publicity, Femi Adeshina, in a statement, stated that the president will be jetting out of the country on Monday to enable him participate in the Global Education Summit, financing global partnership for education, 2021 to 2025 GPE. According to Adeshino, the president is not expected to return immediately after the summit, stating that he would be undergoing his earlier scheduled medical checkup. Daily Post reports that the development is coming when the entire nation is enveloped with tension and anxiety as the two major secessionists in the country, Namde Kano and Sunday Igbo, are set to face trial. While Namde Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, is expected to resume trial at a federal high court in Abuja, his counterpart, the Yoruba Nation Freedom Fighter, will be appearing before the Supreme Court in Kotonou, Benin Republic, following his arrest last week, Monday. Some concerned Nigerians who reacted to the president's move accused him of deliberately setting the country on fire and moving to another country. Others speculated that the president must have been invited by the British government to explain Namdekanu's rearrest and extradition to the country. Below are some of the reactions gathered by Daily Post from the comment section of Femi Additional's statement on Facebook. Patrick Oderibok says the president has set the country on fire and he is now running to another country. Guys, do you agree with this opinion? To a very large extent, you know, that could be a narrative to follow. Ohunle Michael says, continue to deceive yourself. Tell them the UK invited Buhari and his partner in crime from Kenya to come and explain their rules, their roles to Mazen Namdekanu's kidnapping and smuggling to Nigeria. Well, could that be what it is? Well, to a very large extent, you never can tell. Allah Yemechuwa says, you see them crooks? Now they carry two Igbo men to go and show Boris Johnson that they are not being marginalized at all in order to debunk Mazi Namdekanu's claims. Those ones too for sure go to shake their empty heads in agreement. Well, Cass Patrick says, this meeting is practically about Namdekanu, Biafra and his Biafran cross. The Igbo men, Onyema and Mwajuba he carries with him is the camouflage that Igbos don't want to be separated. All right, would that be what it is? Should the, are they the ones that will speak on behalf of the people? I don't think so, because they are working for the government and they will definitely support whatever the government says. But we keep our fingers crossed to see how things, you know, eventually turns out at the end of the day. But I pray these two Igbo men will turn around Forget about their stomach and pocket. Risk everything and tell Boris Johnson the truth. Shake and scatter the whole table. Bauchi Ninja says, Brother Femi Adeshina, don't tell me. Don't tell me the British Prime Minister Boris Johnson invited PMB and his cohort from Kenya, Uhuru Kenyatta, to come and explain to him how they both conspired to kidnap Mazin Namdekanu back to Nigeria. And here you are trying to Cover it up with the caption that your boss, the PMB, attends Global Education Summit. Okay? A lot of people do not want to uh, agree that the reason why the president is actually leaving the country is for 
a summit and also for his um, medical checkup. Another person says, and he wants to use the same opportunity to patronize the British doctors with our hard-earned taxpayers' money in the name of medical trip. It is well. Reno Omokri, please help us and do the needful, he said. Well, it is what it is, guys. It's a very, very, you know, serious situation as it were. What are your thoughts, guys, concerning this particular new story as it is? Do you agree with him? Well, to a very large extent, you just want to agree with some of this um, narrative that um, they are. They could just be what is going on. But we keep our fingers crossed. Don't forget, you know, it's been reported that the president will be out of the country and will be coming in sometimes or somewhere around um, the second week of August. And if that is the case, it's going to be a long vac for him, like in two weeks or thereabouts, he's going to be spending in the United Kingdom. And this, don't forget, is going to be spending Nigeria's hard earned money. Where there are lots of Nigerians who cannot even feed for themselves, who cannot even fend for themselves. So it tells you to a very large extent that something is wrong with the way things are happening in the country. Well, it is what it is. He's been wanting to travel all this while, but he probably he was, he's been trying to defer his travel for reasons best known to him, probably because of what Nigerians are actually you know, doing are protesting against him in the UK. But we keep our fingers crossed to eventually see how things unfold as things progress. Whatever it is, he will definitely return back and um, we will get to know the truth of the matter and the root cause of all that transpired in the UK. You know, one thing is certain, time will tell what exactly transpired what exactly happened and how things eventually happened. Well, guys, it is what it is. There is no need to fret. There is no need to be scared. There is no need to be afraid. You know, he, his tenure is coming to an end. Don't forget, he has um, less than two years to be in office. And um, a lot of things will definitely happen and change with time. Well, drop by at the comment section, guys. Let's know what your thoughts are on this particular new story as it were. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys. I appreciate your support and I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.